This week on The Wire, expat buyers pumping up markets, low supply, a big factor, says Westpac, and RBA repeats, no rate rise until 2024. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. A top story for this week, expat buyers pumping up markets. So the return of cashed up expats is adding to property sales across the nation, and that's according to the Property Investment Professionals of Australia. Now hundreds of thousands of people have returned to Australia over the past year, with many of them coming from cities that have more expensive property markets. PIPA Chairman Peter Koulzos says expats are returning home en masse with plenty of real estate dollars behind them, often in stronger currencies than the Australian dollar, which supercharges their buying power. Now he says our members report that some of the sale prices being achieved in Sydney, for example, seem insane with new money or the expat factor the likely reason. Kulazos says Brisbane, Adelaide and regional areas were also securing record sale prices due to new money coming from more expensive locations. Now, Real Estate Buyers Agent Association, that's REBA, President Kate Backos says expats are having an impact in Melbourne as well. And now for our next story. Low supply, a big factor, says Westpac. So Westpac CEO Peter King has highlighted a lack of housing supply as a major problem for the nation and a reason for climbing property prices. King says a strong bounce back in house price growth has been an outcome of the federal government and the Reserve Bank moves to stimulate borrowing and economic activity to help the recovery from the pandemic recession. But he says supply issues in the market are exacerbating house price growth. In relation to what's driving house prices, from my perspective, it's supply and demand. One of the ratios we look at is new listings to sales, and it's still out of whack with more sales than new listings. I don't think bank debt is a driver of house prices. I think it's a fundamental supply demand issue, he says. Now, the strength in demand for housing is echoed by Mortgage Choice CEO Susan Mitchell, who cites a rush of first home buyers. She says everything has blossomed. It's just been an incredible period of time. And now for our final story of the week, RBA repeats, no rate rise until 2024. The RBA has retained record low interest rates in its April meeting. The board with its newly appointed members, Carolyn Hewson and Alison Watkins, note that housing markets have strengthened with prices rising in most locations. RBA Governor Philip Lowe says housing credit growth to owner occupiers has picked up with strong demand from first home buyers, adding that the board does not see a cash rate change until 2024 at the earliest. Now, Susan Mitchell, CEO of Mortgage Choice, says the latest RBA decision comes as no surprise when you consider the employment rate and inflation are some way off the RBA's targets. But some economists believe there will be a cash rate increase by the end of the year. Finders RBA cash rate survey saw six out of its 39 panellists suggest there will be a rate change, with Dale Gillam of Wealth Within expecting a rise as early as July. Five other economists predicted a cash rate rise in the December quarter. Well guys, they're the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week and remember, it's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now guys.